external audit at the Sweetwater Union High School District is leading to a major shakeup. The superintendent is now on paid leave and the school board president has stepped down as well. Fox 5's Jeff McAdam joins us live with the next domino that could fall. Jeff. Hi, Andrew. Well, the district has 15 days to respond to this audit, whether they agree with the findings or not. As some of the findings in this report are uh, interesting and possibly concerning, the Securities Exchange Commission, even the district attorney's office, may get involved. By a vote of four to one, with member Tarantino voting against the motion, the board took action to place Dr. Karen Janney on paid administrative leave. In a virtual special meeting Wednesday night, the board decided to place Superintendent Karen Janney on paid leave to ensure an efficient investigation. Board President Frank Tarantino didn't approve. I am stepping down as president, effective immediately. The problem coming to light after the County Office of Education noticed the Sweetwater Union High School District might be in financial trouble. An outside entity, the Physical Crisis and Management Assistant Team, was called in to audit. The 79-page report revealing the board may have authorized a salary increase the district couldn't afford and top managers in the district may have lied about finances. It reads, in February 2018, the CFO and financial advisor took a course of action that was designed to avoid disclosure of information to the credit rating agencies. The chair of Citizen Bond Oversight Committee says that's a big deal. You kind of want to know who you're dealing with. What kind of, what is the financial condition of the district? Nick Maranovic says when schools look to grow and build, they need bond money to do it. They also need to prove they're responsible with the budget. Nick's part of the watchdog group, which oversees the process. They misled the financial markets and the real financial condition of the district. I think, is, and they chose a, a process where you didn't have to reveal how well it, well it was. That, and that's outlined in the audit. Yeah, we reached out to the school district here this morning a couple different times and I've yet to hear back. Again, they have 15 days to respond. The date on this audit was actually last week, so they have about eight days uh, by doing the math to respond to this audit, at which point the Office of Education will look at what the district says and decide whether they proceed with the SEC, the district attorney, and how they move forward. We'll keep you up to date here on Fox 5, but for now from National City, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.